Even after her battle with breast cancer, Tina Washington still deals with a chronic condition called lymphedema. Lymphedema occurs when a large number of lymph nodes are removed as a part of a cancer treatment and causes mobility limiting swelling in the arms, legs, feet, and hands. It is most common in breast cancer patients and often requires physical therapy and for the patient to don compression garments. Once you get through what you think is the scariest part of your life, then when you see that you're a survivor, it's like, okay, if this is what I have to do, I will. I have to wear my sleeve every day. I usually, when I'm getting dressed, I put my sleeve and glove on like it's part of my clothes. The lymphatic system acts as an important part of the immune system and destroys the bad stuff like bacteria, viruses, and other harmful substances. Now there are two new surgeries that could help prevent or stop lymphedema called lymphovenous bypass and vascularized lymph node transfer. The bypass surgery uses little tubes to help redirect the flow of lymph fluid in the body. The transfer surgery moves healthy lymph nodes from one site of the body to another. Dr. Roman Skoraki of Ohio State University's James Cancer Hospital and Solve Research Institute helped pioneer this transfer surgery. We, we utilize some lymph nodes that are, I guess, spare parts if you want to call them that, that, are, that, are, that we can take away without uh, causing harm elsewhere and transplanting those into the area of the lymphedema. The doctor says that after the surgery, 60% of patients will see a significant improvement in their symptoms. There are only a handful of doctors in the U.S. who can perform these surgeries. Reporting for ABC 10 and the CW5, I'm Sarah Mack.